What'd you do with my Rocky Mountain Cheesecake Coco Explosion? Where is it? Is it okay? You have been kidnapped, poor Ransom. Please, just cooperate and you won't get hurt. What? For Ransom? Are you crazy? I'm poor! Don't you know I drive a 1988 Sky Blue Toyota Corolla? OMG WTF BBQ! You are not Natalie Portman? No, I'm not Natalie Portman. I'm Natalie Warren. <laughs> Raffle Mao, noobs! Natalie Warren of Logic TV? Then you will do the news for us, or you will die. Okay. Wow, what an exciting week for news. It's August 25th, 2008, and I don't remember the last time I was kidnapped, but if you can, this gadget is for you. Zega Corporation, with an X, out of Mexico, has developed the Verichip, which can be embedded into a person's skin in order to locate them in case of a kidnapping. For about $4,000, you can have this chip injected into your body by means of Big Fat Syringe. Now, the chip is only about the size of a grain of rice, but that's one huge needle if you ask me. According to recent studies, kidnapping in Mexico has increased by 40% in the last four years or so, and people have been kidnapped for as little as a wristwatch. American Airlines announced this week that for an extra charge of $12.95, they will be providing Wi-Fi internet access on three routes on a trial basis. The service works with most laptops, iPhones, some Blackberries, and pretty much anything else that has Wi-Fi connectivity. Delta, Virgin American, and US Airways also plan to test the service. Recently, Bono, U2's frontman, was playing some leak cuts from his latest unreleased album while in his villa in the south of France. A passerby overheard the blaring music and hit record. Sorry, multi-million dollar music corporations. This is a simple case of ear-to-peer file sharing. The names of the songs were Sexy Boots, Moment of Surrender, and For Your Love. Tell Bonehead to turn down his stereo next time he's playing super secret unreleased music. Sony, Sony, Sony. <sighs> I love me my PSP and my PS3. So what's next on the horizon? How about a brand spanking new high resolution PSP 3000? It's got the same basic design as the previous PSP and comes in three awesome colors, black, white, and silver. But using the new built-in microphone, you can now make Skype phone calls on your PSP via voice over IP. The PSP 3000 will be out in October for 199 US and also 199 euros. Sorry Europe, getting moaned on that deal. Time for trivia! Last week I asked you what the heaviest laptop still in production was, and thanks to Polly Wally 9 on YouTube, I seem to have my answer. That's right, it's the Acer Aspire 9810-6829. Weighing in at 17.3 pounds, it's the heaviest laptop I've ever heard of. This week's question, when was the first cell phone released to the public and what was it called? Remember, give us your answers in the comments under this video. I'm Natalie Warren, that's it for this week, thanks for watching Logic TV.